Hi there, I'm Dustin Warnke and welcome to this segment where we're going to talk about one of our fine sponsors which is Buck Knives. Now, Buck Knives have been around for a long time and they are about as American as apple pie or hot dogs or hamburgers. They're a fantastic company, they've been around for a while, they have a forever guarantee, lifetime warranty on all their products and I've had a Buck Knife as long as I've been a hunter and I even brought one of my favorite ones to show you today. But uh, they also have come up with some really new innovative products that a lot of folks don't know about. So we're going to discuss a couple of those today. First thing I want to show you is one of the classic buck knives that's one of the most highly recognizable knives out there. And that is the Buck Knife 110. This particular knife is my own knife that was given to me as a present for a wedding party that I was in uh, about seven years ago or so when I got really heavy into hunting. And um, what I did was took this knife and have it packed with me on every hunting trip I've been on since then. And I keep this with me as a spare knife or as my primary knife. It holds an edge very well, it keeps an edge very well, and is one of the most classic knives out there. The Buck Knife 110 has been around for many, many years. As a matter of fact, this is the Centennial Edition when this was given to me. It's uh, 1902 to 2002 is what the sheath says. And uh, the sheath's showing a little bit of wear, but the knife itself looks good. What I do is keep a little bit of metal, metal polish on there and uh, keep everything shiny on the, um, on the uh, metal parts and uh, really keep this thing sharp and good to go. And it's a great folder knife. And the Buck Knife 110 is one of the most classic knives that you'll find in hunting, and it's also one of the best quality knives that you'll find. And I always keep mine near my side. So, Buck Knife 110 is a classic. If you don't own one, go get one. It's a fantastic knife to own, and I would recommend everybody to at least have one Buck Knife 110. Oh, also, I forgot to tell you, I have the, uh, my initials. This is one of the best gifts I've ever been given, especially for a uh, groomsman present at a wedding because it has DVW, which are my initials for Dustin Von Warnke, on the, uh, on the knife itself. So this is kind of a personalized piece and uh, it's a fantastic gift. Okay, another couple of knives that I brought here is a pocket folder knife. Now, I don't know if you're like me, but I love to carry a pocket folder with me all the time. And uh, I also love the fact that it's got a little pocket clip to it that's ambidextrous, meaning you can just unscrew two screws, pop it on the other side and wear it on either side of your pocket with a little pocket clip or even um, in one of your back pockets as well. Now what's different about this is a lot of these new knives these days come with little thumb opening assist things or even spring opening assists. Um, I, you know, I love those but at the same time they kind of get in the way sometimes and uh, the more that you've got uh, in the way the more they can get hung up on and that's what sometimes happens with those thumb opening assist things. So this is a, called the Buck Knife Vantage. This is kind of a beautiful wood grain uh, knife at this particular one. You can get on several different types of handles and basically instead of having a opening section like this where you would have a little thumb assist, you still have a little area you can grab onto here, but you've got a little finger nub right here. I don't know what the best way to call this is, but you basically just flick that open and it opens up your knife. It's kind of like an opening assist. And um, Buck Knives folks told me I'd love that and they were right, I do. It locks into place very firmly. It's a great pocket knife. My dad, who carries like three or four pocket knives with him all the time, is looking for uh, purchasing a new pocket knife because he just lost one of his favorite ones and I'm going to recommend this to him. Uh, this is one of the best nice small uh, everyday knife to carry along with you, uh, pocket knife around that I have seen lately. So the Buck Knife Vantage series, awesome knife. Okay, moving back into hunting, this is the Buck Knife Ergo Hunter, and this is a black synthetic handle to it. You can get several different types of handles on this knife, from what I understand, but it's got a gut hook on it. It's in a fixed blade knife as well. It's a fixed blade knife. And one thing I like about that is the fact that a gut hook kind of saves myself from having to have more than one knife with me if all I can carry is one knife. And I'll talk about another nice innovative product that Buck has made in that regard. But uh, the nice thing about this particular knife is the gut hook is very sharp. I actually just used this on a hog hunt this past weekend. And also, you also have a nice contoured blade that's kind of got a little drop point up to it. And I love this knife, the way that it handles. It's great for skinning. It's just a great all-around big game knife from any from anything from elk to uh, hogs to um, all kinds of different things like that. 
I have had personal experience using this knife. In fact, I just cleaned it up for this little segment because I went hog hunting with this a couple of uh, weeks ago. Actually, I'm sorry, this last weekend and uh, went through with skinning this hog. And if you know anything about Texas hogs or feral hogs anywhere, they, they can dull out a knife really quickly. And this particular knife, uh, brand new factory sharp, got it out of the uh, packaging, got it out of the sheath, went to work on, on a hog, got all the way through the hog, skinning it, quartering it, everything like that before I had to resharpen it. And that's very, very important to me because I don't, there's nothing I hate worse than having to get halfway through a hog and the knife doesn't hold its edge. And the Buck Knife 110 do that. All the Buck Knife products that I use here have done that very, very well. So, uh, and this will take an edge very quickly too, much like the 110 will as well, the Ergo Hunter from Buck Knives. The, another thing I really love about Buck Knives is the fact that you have these cool sheaths, and this is a fixed blade knife, so it goes into a sheath just like this. Has a nice little safety latch like this, but also inside here, there's a lining inside the actual sheath itself that's kind of like a hard plastic lining. And we're gonna see that when I talk about the pack light series next. But this kind of protects the sheath from the knife dulling out on cutting the sheath, which has happened on some other knife brands that I've owned. And also it kind of keeps the dirty knife away from the clean sheath. And that's also important in my humble opinion. When you're out there in the woods, and a lot of times, quite frankly, there's not a huge water supply where you can't just rinse off the knife after you're done using it. You gotta put it away dirty. And we've all done that if you've been hunting for any amount of time. So that's another thing to be in consideration of. Okay, next thing is one of my most exciting products I brought to you today that's kind of a new innovative thing, and that's the Pack Light series. Pack Light series is gonna come in a little sheath like this, pop open the top like this. You've got three knives in here, and what you have in here are, let's see here, one knife, two knives, three knives. You're gonna have a gut hook, which will be the first thing we talk about. You're going to have kind of a skinning caping knife. It's kind of a smaller, it almost reminds me of a scalpel, which is really cool. And then you're gonna have kind of a regular all around buck knife in here. And these are, have kind of like a black anodized finish on them that's, uh, that's really cool. They handle really well. My concern with getting these kind of lighter weight knives, although I looked at them online when I finally got this one, I was kind of like, how's this going to feel? And I'm telling you, in your hand, it feels good when you use it. And I've had personal experience on the same hog hunt with another hog uh, going through and doing an entire hog with this particular knife. Uh, set and basically I can tell you that this little little bitty knife right here This little caping knife is great for especially if you're doing back straps on a deer or back straps on a hog Or tenderloins or anything where you got to get in there any kind of caping work that you have to do to cape or face out a skull uh, from an animal, fantastic skinning knife in that regard. But I didn't even think about it for back straps and kind of getting in between the rib bones and, and doing your meat when you're uh, filleting off your loins. This is a great, great knife for that. So that's what I really love about this. This is a great all around knife part of this kit as well. And the joy of the Pack Light series is that along with the gut knife, you can get through and all the knives together are going to weigh about the same amount as one standard knife would if you put them together. And actually I tested that out right here myself. These weigh about the same. If not, these are a little bit lighter as a matter of fact as some of the other knives. So they all each have their individual sheath which have also an individual area right here for you to have an individual belt clip. If you need to carry each one of these outside of the sheath on your person, you can have a separate sheath for each one of them and it's great to just put them inside there or put them inside the sheath. You have several different carrying options on holding these and I love the Pack Light series. And uh, if you can get out there and get one of these, this is everything you need in my humble opinion for getting out there and, uh, and going hunting, especially for big game, especially for deer, hogs, so on and so forth. These hold their edge very well as well, the Pack, uh, pack Light series, and uh, come in several different finishes and so on and so forth. So these are really great as well. So that's the Pack Light, the Ergo Hunter, the Vantage Pocket Folder, and then the classic Buck Knife 110 that we talked about today. For more information on these, go to bucknives.com or visit our sponsor link at macandprowler.com. And thank you so much for tuning in today to learn about Buck Knives.